Welcome guys. In today's video, we're gonna study sets and different kind of sets. The first one is called uh, already you know for the only empty sets. So it means a set containing a set containing no element, no element at all. At all is called the empty set or the null set or the void so in short the empty set is also known as your null so no sorry null set or the void the void set okay uh, it is denoted by phi or a curly bracket inside a curly bracket there is nothing remember that okay? and this one is known as your phi p h i phi so let us do some example for example uh, if i say that uh, x x belongs to natural number and 2 less than x less than 3 now it means that x lies between 2 and 3 so if x lies between 2 and 3, the number would be either 2.1 or 2.9. Goes on right. So 2.1 till 2.9 is not an what? Natural number. So the answer will be 5. Okay. If you write this one like this, so it means that this is not empty. Why? Because something is there inside the set. Your empty set, you have to denote either in these two manner. Either this one or this one. I guess you are clear. Okay, now let me go with another example. Suppose I say x x belongs to real number and your x square is equal to minus 1. Now, your member is given that x square is equal to minus 1. So, in short, a square cannot be what? Negative, so this is also not an So, this is an empty set. I hope you are clear. So, this is the empty set. Okay, let's do the exercise. It's given that which of the following are examples of their null set. Number one, set of odd natural number divisible by two. See, it's given here nicely that it's an odd natural number. An odd number is what? A number which is not divisible by two. And it's given that divisible by two. So this is your empty set. Similarly, a set of even prime number. Even prime number, the only number that is prime as uh, even is two. So yes, this is not an this is not a null set. Okay, so this is a null set. Then comes x x is a natural number, x less than five and x greater than seven. It's given that x is less than five, and our other term is given x is greater than seven. This can't happen, right? So this is also a null set. Then comes number four. I want you to do number four at the compensation. I'll be clear. All right. The next topic is finite and infinite set. I've already known the definitions over here. Is given that an empty set or a non-empty set in which the process of counting of elements surely comes to an end is called a finite set. A set which is not finite is called an infinite set. I hope you're clear with the definition. Uh, those who are not clear, in simple terms, a finite, a finite set it means which you can count. Whereas an infinite, it means countless. You cannot count. It's in simple terms. Okay, then comes the number of distinct elements contained in a finite set A is denoted by this one. Number of elements of A. N of A. It's given number of elements of A. I hope you're clear till there. Okay, let us do some examples for the same thing. Uh, example, if I say let A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If I say A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, you can count the numbers, right? So this is what? A finite. Similarly, if I say uh, the set of the set of all person on earth. The set of all person on earth. Tell me it's finite and infinite, it will be nothing more than your finite. Why? Because we can count by some means or another. Okay, then comes if I say uh, the set of the 
the set of all points on the arc of the circle. Suppose I draw a circle and I say point is there. Can you count the number of points? There might be infinite number of points over here. Yes or no? So the answer would be infinite set. Simple as that. Okay, let us do question number two of exercise 1.2. It's given that which of the following sets are finite or infinite? Number one, the set of months of a year. Obviously, it's finite, right? Why? Because you can count the number of months. Number two, one, two, three, it goes on. Is there any ending over here? See the difference between question number two and question number three, okay? In question number two, there is no ending. In question number three, there is an ending, 9900, right? So this is infinite and this is finite. Clear? I want you to do question four and five by yourself. All right, the next topic is again equal sets. It's given that two sets A and B are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements and we write A is equal to B. Remember this line, okay? Exactly the same elements. Remember that in order to make the set to be equal, they should have exactly the same elements, okay? Otherwise, the set are unequal and we write A is not equal to B. Uh, let us do some examples. Suppose I say that uh, A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is equal to 2, 1, 3. Are they equal or not? See, I going to, I, in A, 3 elements are there and they are 1, 2, 3. In B also, 3 elements there and they are 2, 1, 3. If you compare, I got 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, right? So I can say A is equal to B. I guess you're clear. Similarly, if I say A is equal to P, Q, R and B is equal to Q, R, S. No matter the number of elements inside A, I got here to be 3. And similarly, number of elements inside B, I got here to be 3. Though they are equal, but the elements... Are not exactly the same so this would be a is not equal to b so that is all about your equal sets you can pause the video and then check once again okay all right let us do question number four of exercise 1.2 it's given that in the following stat whether a is equal to b or not the first one is given to be a a b c d b d c a b same thing four elements four elements and i got here a b c d here also i got a b c d yes so a is equal to b in number 2 is given 4, 8, 12, 16 and B, 8, 4, 16, 18. So 4 elements, 4 elements, but here I have 12 and here I don't have 12. So that will be A not equal to B. Are we clear? Okay, number 3 is given A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and B, X is a positive even integer, X less than or equal to 10. So your B is given in set builder from, if I have to write on roster from, it will be what? It's given that it's a positive even integer. So 2, 4, 6, 8. And lastly, it's given x is equal to 10. So that will be 10. So if you can see, I got both the elements of a and b to be same. So question number 3, I can say that a is equal to b. Let us do question 4. Question 4 is given a, x is a multiple of 10. And b, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So in a multiple of 10, can 15 come in multiple of 10? So, in short, 15 does not belong to A. So, the answer would be A is not equal to B. You can pause the video and check once again. So, this question is, question of 5 of exercise 1.2 is given, are the following pair of sets equal? Give reason. So, A is given to be 2, 3 and B is given to be X is a solution of X square plus 5X plus 6 is equal to 0. So let us try to solve this one first using solving the middle term. All right. So if I solve this one in the middle term, I'll get the answer x x plus three plus two x plus three is equal to zero. So I'll get the answer x plus two x plus three is equal to zero. So that is either your x would be minus two or your x would be minus three. So in short, I got the answer of b. To be nothing more than minus 2 and minus 3. Now you tell me, are they equal? No, right? Because the number elements inside A and B are not exactly the same. Though the number of elements are same. So this is all about the equation number 1. 
let us do question number two your question number two happens to be a is equal to x x is a letter in the word follow and b is equal to x oh sorry not x y y is a letter in the word wolf so this is given in your set builder form if i happen to write down this one in your rooster form that will how much your follow it means uh, the number of elements cannot be repeated so that will be f o l w because there are two o and two l right similarly b would be w o l f now the elements inside a and b are exactly the same because i got w w o o l l f f so i can say a is equal to b so that's all about the exercise 1.2